Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm the painter in this video. Today you will see me painting this uh, scene of uh, a little girl playing in a field uh, while it's uh, sunset and um, for this I will use uh, oils uh, as my uh, medium but uh, let me just first uh, explain what I'm doing uh, here. I'm using on my panel uh, this uh, underpainting which is uh, acrylic and um, this is to block the absorbance of uh, the gesso of the panel um, w because I don't want uh, this uh, gesso to absorb the, the oil uh, when later I'm painting. So I'm using this acrylic uh, scale of uh, reds to create this golden red uh, um, base for uh, uh, my panel to accept uh, the, the oil later on. The general hue of my reference photo is this golden red color and uh, I want to keep this uh, um, in my general, uh, as a general uh, um, color on my painting. After this I want to establish the composition a little bit of the painting and um, I want to find my brightest uh, bright, uh, brights, let's say, of uh, the composition. So, of course, uh, this is uh, the most important thing to notice when we have to paint uh, um, anything. Uh, light is the most important thing uh, when we paint and we want to create this illusion of uh, light. So, in order to create this illusion of light, we have to correspond, uh, let's say, our uh, um, to correspond light, actual light of uh, what we see to the material colors that we use. Uh, here on this, uh, on this painting, the brightest um, areas is uh, of course the sun and the sunset uh, along with uh, some uh, uh, the reflection of the light on the girl's hair and uh, on the on some uh, flowers so um, my my colors are not uh, light uh, as uh, the sun is, as the light of the sun, it, my colors are uh, materials, so I have to correspond my material pigments to the actual light that I see on my reference uh, photo. So, um, my brightest color, of course, is uh, the titanium white, and uh, this will, uh, let's say, represent. Uh, um, translate the color of uh, the brightest uh, light, the color of uh, the sun and the area around this. So I'm using this uh, titanium white for uh, my sunset as I see it on my reference photo along with uh, the area of the head that is uh, as bright as uh, the, the sun. Now if we want to create this illusion of uh, light we don't only have to uh, correspond our brightest brights, but to also um, create the right uh, values for our uh, mid-tones and our uh, shadows. It's really, really important to not be afraid to go uh, as uh, dark, because this uh, contrast of uh, shadows and uh, the lights will give us uh, finally this illusion of uh, of light and you already see that uh, on this uh, um, sketch of on color um, I already have some sense of uh, light going on uh, go just by uh, painting very quickly and very freely let's say this contrast between light and shadow. Now the oil really does uh, help here. I it, I can uh, easily do some uh, blendings on the background where uh, everything is kind of uh, blurred, and uh, oil is a material that uh, can help me do these blendings in a nice uh, uh, way. So if you um, want to really create this sense of light in your paintings, make sure that uh, you translate and transfer these values that uh, you see, either from a photograph, if you work from a photo reference or from a reality, uh, to transfer these uh, values uh, correctly. The light and shadows have to be translated on your paintings in uh, uh, the correct uh, scale.
I hope this uh, makes uh, sense to you. It's really hard to explain this better um, in English, as English is not uh, my um, my mother language. But uh, I feel that the the video itself really does uh, explain this. So I've kept things uh, kind of blurry on the background, and I'm really happy about how the light uh, really seems to work uh, here. And now, um, very, you know, quickly, without being very attentive to detail, I want to kind of uh, paint the um, specific areas, like the face of uh, the little girl, without giving much uh, information. Everything is uh, bathed in uh, light in this uh, scene. So, but I want to keep things correct. I want here you'll notice, for example, on her arms, how the arms receive a narrow band of light on their edges. So, I want to create this illusion of light on her arms. And in order to do this, I will have to see how this narrow band of light uh, um, is uh, connected with uh, the rest of uh, the arms, how dark the rest of the arms are in comparison to this, and uh, to really notice that uh, um, when light meets uh, shadow, there is uh, a, another narrow band of uh, even darker color between light and uh, shadow. This is something that really does help uh, give us the illusion of volume and uh, light on uh, a painting. This was very, very um, satisfying for me to work. I rarely paint landscapes, but uh, it was uh, a compelling uh, uh, image for me because uh, uh, it really um, helped me um, study the light and uh, give this illusion of uh, light in a way that was very charming and uh, nice. This painting uh, was painted uh, alla prima uh, in um, one sitting and uh, for this uh, notice how on my palette I don't use uh, linseed oil, uh, extra linseed oil to um, to thin down my my colors. I just use uh, turpentine oil and this is uh, nice because uh, um, as we add uh, linseed oil uh, the color becomes uh, um, e less easily manipulated. Now I could uh, if uh, um, when this painting is uh, dry, I can apply on some glazes to make this painting even more uh, warm, golden warm, uh, with uh, these uh, golden transparencies. Uh, um, and um, here you see me painting these flowers uh, right next to the girl. And uh, now these flowers uh, were more in focus from the photograph and I really want to uh, to give this um, in focus, let's say, um, idea. So I try to be more specific on my brush stroke uh, here on that mid section of the painting. Another thing is that um, when we work from a painting, uh, we shouldn't be, you know, slaves of uh, what we see and uh, paint exactly what we see. We can be more freely and uh, here my intention was to, um, to be faithful to the actual photograph that I'm using, but uh, also to, um, to give the general feeling of the painting, this uh, feeling of uh, golden red light that is so beautiful and um, to really give this uh, illusion of uh, light. I was much interested in how the the light engulfs the girl's uh, head and gives her this uh, hello almost uh, feeling to, um, to impart a sense of uh, playfulness, a sense of uh, cleanness and uh, um, innocence, let's say, of uh, a childhood. So um, it was really, really nice and um, 
Normally, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm not attracted into painting uh, scenery, but uh, here on this uh, painting, I really enjoyed this uh, feeling of uh, painting plants and uh, being more freely, not quite a slave, not quite painting each and every one of uh, the flowers, but uh, using a more, let's say, freely brush stroke, almost as uh, the impressionists uh, used to paint. Uh, um, with. So this was my study on uh, light. I hope uh, this was kind of uh, somewhat helpful to you and this will inspire you to choose a similar photograph, uh, a similar subject and uh, try this uh, uh, painting this illusion of light. Thank you so much for being in this video. I will see you soon with uh, another. Bye.